folks, welcome to the Sloppy Boys, where we take a deep dive into the drinks that you love. I'm Jeff Dutton, along with Mike Hanford. Oh. And Tim Kalpakis. What is up? And we are your hosts, the band, the Sloppy Boys, with a lot of shows on the books. Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. There's much cause for celebration on this episode. I got them right here. Saturday, April 6th, Lodge Room, Highland Park with Don't Stop or We'll Die and Lamar Woods. Ooh, I'll go to that. April 25th (laughs) and 26th, Thursday and Friday, Beat Kitchen, Chicago with Dear Blanca. Ooh. That Saturday, April 27th, Cactus Club in Milwaukee, Wisco with Dear Blanca. Nice. May 10th, Littlefield in Brooklyn. That's news. That's a new, that's Mm -hmm. a biggie. And finally, May 11th, Rhode Island, United Alt Comedy Fest with Big Grande. That's going to be exciting. It's all very exciting. Let me tell you about that New York show, though. That's a two-set night. For us? That's a two-set, big, fat show. No opener. What are we doing for the second set? More songs, my boy. (laughs) We got to learn more of our songs. Most bands, they know them, you know? (laughs) They don't just put them on the album and say, all right, I knew it then. (laughs) Vault it away, salt it away. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Remember when we pretended to take requests, but it was just because it would be like songs that were on the set list. They were just coming up and we're like, ooh, yeah. (laughs) Somebody yells it out. We're like, yeah, yeah. It's like very spontaneous. (laughs) But I mean, we got to, we'll play every song we know. Yeah. And then some. Every song we know? Probably. I know. The drummer is, now he's thinking, I gotta get ready for this. (laughs) I gotta practice paradiddles, man. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Well, I think also maybe the audience can figure this out, but we are in... (laughs) The same room! (laughs) (laughs) The same room! Mike is in LA. It's a special episode because we're finishing the IBA cocktail list. Yes. Tim is in LA. Yeah, I'm in LA. I'm always in LA. And I'm here we too. Got him in the same room this time. But yes, this is the end of an era. End of an era. Mm-hmm. The curse will be lifted today. Mm-hmm. End of an era. Yeah, that's about right. And to that, why don't we reach under our chairs? <gasps> ah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I can see. Reach a little deeper, Tim. Yours is like behind your chair, Tim. Way down mine. and around. My, let me, let you, me get mine you, here. You, you, <laughs> AK, okay. you might have to sort of uh, scuttle around. I still have my shoes hey! on. <laughs> <laughs> he got them! So, so worked. <laughs> he hey, got he some. got them! Yeah! They're fireball nips, folks. <laughs> now, to be... Uh, Perfectly uh, transparent here. When I first got to Jeff's house, I was sitting where Tim is sitting, and I saw mine immediately. I said, "Oh, I gotta get that." And Jeff went, wait, wait, no, don't go in there. <laughs> I didn't bury it deep enough. I thought somebody may be giving you a hand for a holiday handshake. And uh, <laughs> well, what happened was, I think it was maybe Hawaii. I, I saw a ten pack of these, and I said, "Well, that'll be useful." Yeah, I've been trying to get rid of them for like two years. Really? Yes. <sighs> give me, me. And they're the gas station ones, cinnamon whiskey. Oh no, mm-hmm. no, they're the non gas station ones. 66 proof. Yeah, I'm going to do just a little taste. So th- we're celebrating because we're finishing the International <sighs> Bartenders Association cocktail list of drinks that we set out to drink all of on the pod. Mm-hmm. 88? 88 of them? <sighs> Fireball was uh, really not on that list very much. Not very much. We no. didn't put no, them in th- This doesn't make sense as a toast oh, it just makes it just makes sense as a uh, mm-hmm. thing we love it's a celebratory thing well but do you guys like I you guys like fireball right i do yeah i like yeah okay but um i think there were up to a hundred on at one point or like wikipedia said there were more than are on the site weird and the sites change changes every couple of years they yeah. they refresh it and some drinks have gone and been added since we've been doing the, doing the pod but it's funny like it's funny how much we veered away from it, right? We started episode one. We're like, we're going to drink all these drinks. But this is like episode 177 or something. Or 78 180, or 180. 180 maybe. So it's funny that we, that many times we did something dumb. <laughs> like, we also used to do a lot of like, like there's a new seltzer out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've learned our lesson on that. Um, end of an era, end of an era, Jeff said, uh, fuck, what was I going to say about this? I'm excited to move on. Bigger and better. No, just new. 
Something, not bigger. <laughs> something, something's exciting to us. Because I think here at the last few uh, episodes on this podcast, and folks, I don't know if you're feeling it, but there's there's been a little bit like, Ugh, let's just get these done. <laughs> I want to be happy about my job again. <laughs> drinking, <laughs> drinking alcohol sad just yeah. to get it in. It is funny. We were just trying to pick up the weird, pick off the weirdies by the end of it. And uh, we're like, well, what do we end on? Daiquiri. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, at least it's a, it's not the it's Kanchanchara. Solid. It's solid, yeah. but it's not like we say the Mai Tai for the It's end. like a classic, though. Yeah. The, the, the daiquiri. I mean, I think I've I've heard it referred to as like one of the six essential cocktails. Ooh. Oh. Let, me, let me, do you know the other ones? Let me guess. I know that, I know two of them. Old Fashioned. Yep. Martini. Martini. Yep. Bloody Mary? Gin and tonic? The only other one I remember is Manhattan. Ah. Mm. And of course, the daiquiri. Yep. Dak. Now, I don't know if anyone, oh, never mind. What? Just say it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm just going to say somebody's name who nobody knows and uh, rhyme Dakery with it. Zachary. Sure. Quinto. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Dakery Quinto. <laughs> well, you know, a few weeks ago, I talked uh, I talked about how I had a dream about my college roommate, Cliff Sosis. Mm. <gasps> yeah. I, I name dropped him. I've got a good, I've, I've got a good one. Uh, I had a, remember we've been t- just trying to keep our, um, to write our dreams Ooh, down. We dreams. Have. I had a really good one the other day. Uh, I wrote it down, but I don't have it in front of me. So I'll have to remember. It was uh, me, uh, a Lordy, that guy. Jacob Alordi. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob Alordi in a uh, men's golf club locker room. Like, you know, when, you know when Larry David goes to his locker room in his mm-hmm. golf club? Yeah, yeah. Like that, like wood and this thing. We're standing in front of a full body mirror, nude. We have no dicks. We're like Ken Barbie dicks. <laughs> and we're uh, practicing dunks. <laughs> like what we look like dunking and playing basketball. <laughs> He's really tall. He probably That's dunk. probably what did it. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't you say something like that for behind the paywall? You know, because I'm not trying to get people into the paywall. Come in. This is Come the type in. of fun stuff Come we're talking in. about. We talk about our personal lives. We talk about things we care about. On the Patreon. It's on the funny. Blowout. It's it's a glimpse the into blowout. your your psyche to know that you went to bed that night being like, I was probably can jump as high as Jacob Lordy. <laughs> he might be taller sure, than me. Sure, he's tall, but he, <laughs> I put a lot of work into that jumping. He pre- no, it's uh, the 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 um, locker room thing that was definitely because I just watched the uh, the uh, disgruntled episode of Curb. The most recent one, oh, or yeah. second most, whatever. It's where he's like, <laughs> they're putting up a disgruntled sign in the uh, the locker room, and it's where I got that. Damn. It is fun when you have a, a dream and you go, ooh, where did that come from? Ah, oh, yes, it's because I saw that person today. Yeah, but it's weird when it's a buried far away. Well, here's one that, that I had. Uh, well, around the time I turned 30, I had several different dreams about finding out that I had to go back to college. That oh, I was yeah, like yeah. Short, short of credits or whatever. Yep. Oh. And it was just, it's funny because I think it was just like, there, your brain thinks you're you're crossing like one landmarks, but then it's like, no, you haven't done the previous yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, That's weird. I've had that dream where you're back in school. Where I, you have a dream where I'm back in school? <laughs> you're back in school. Tim, Tim back in school. to go back to college. <laughs> right. I'm like, where's Tim? No, he's back in school. Well, like, it's it's always like I'm, I'm late to go somewhere mm-hmm. and like I don't have my schedule. Like, I went to the wrong. I got to go to the lady who knows where I'm supposed to be. The yeah, worst. Yeah. My, uh, mine is I've had... Uh, I'm in high school and I don't know my locker combination. Oh, I think that's, I've heard that one from other people too. So I'm like really smart people. <laughs> um, you know, my big recurring one is I'm the, the musical guest on SNL and I can't read my sheet music. <laughs> Sheet music. It's me a, as a solo act playing guitar <laughs> with sheet music is so funny. Yeah, why didn't he memorize his own song? <laughs> Are you playing like uh, classical music, or is it like I have an electric guitar yes. and I'm singing, but I'm playing something kind of fancy. <laughs> but it's it's like I'm hanging. This is says a lot about me. It's, I was having too much fun in the green room. Mm. I was hanging out, eating a lot of food, and yeah, then yeah, I, yeah. I go like, oh, it's an afterthought to just actually play on the show. And then, <laughs> I can't read. It's an afterthought. I can't read. <laughs> we, you know, what we should do for the blowout. We've done this before with the. Uh, we had a uh, someone who reads your signs, uh, your astrology. Signs. Astrology. We had an astrologer on. We should have a dream person on. <gasps> a dream weaver. Dream. A dream weaver. Person. <laughs> <laughs> You're a person. <laughs> we'll tell us about our dreams. Ah, but we got to tell them first. Yeah, that's true. Mm. I want one day. I want a dream uh, analyst who can who already knows the dreams. You don't have to go through them. You got to deal with the computer. You know, I think with the new, uh, you know, that new uh, Apple Watch. I think it does that. 
Yeah, <laughs> you can rewind and play your dreams. Yeah, it sends it sends it over to your dream <laughs> counselor. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. It means you're late for work. Dumb. <laughs> They're getting carried away with this tech shit. Don't you think Don't Apple you think? this i iPhone uh, yeah. Tesla this and Apple mm. Tesla Apple iPhone? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, do we get into some booze news? Robots. Bip, 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 booze news. Hit it. Making our way to the IBA takes everything you got. <laughs> we'll learn about patience and maraschino. Don't forget our job. Life's gonna make it his own way. Somehow we're gonna get through the whole damn idea <laughs> With hand and dots and cow we can Drink of the week but lose news first So should chat along the way We're making our drinks and making it through Friday Cheers to the end of the IBA was sent to us by Lamonta Bob from the Sloppy Boys Discord. And if you have a booze news team, email it to the Sloppy Boys Podcast at gmail.com. And if you want to be friends with Lamonta Bob, you sign up for a Patreon, you get access to the Discord, you're chopping it up. That was good. I, that was really funny. And, and that synth sounded cool. I would love, you know, we have a. Uh, um, uh, uh, Jeez, I'm blanking on the name. The, the guy who makes the uh, funny like movie posters for us all the time. Kyle uh, Hilton? Kyle, no, no, no. no, no, no. He ghost did, of Craig T. Nelson. Craig T. Nelson, yes. The ghost of Craig T. Nelson. Uh, that would be great if you put together pictures of us as like the Cheers. In that yes. old timey Cheers logo font. Get and on, then dude. We, we take this, we put a, uh, we make a little music video. Oh, that's good. Mm. But just just images shooting by, nothing big. And it comes up as one of our songs. Yes, yeah, right. Does it go viral? Well, if uh, Craig T. Nelson can do his job right. <laughs> Get on it, Craig. Uh, yeah, I, I won't say job because we do not pay him. We do not pay any of these people. He's an unpaid opportunity. <laughs> opportunity, yes. Okay, well, just real quick booze news today, which is, do you remember, I believe it was last week, um, we were talking about how, Mike, uh, when you put tahini on the rim of your tahini teeny, mm -hmm. You you were kind of ahead of the curve, and then we we since found that a lot of drinks are having that. And then last week on Booze News, we talked about a TikTok trend called uh, "But There's Tahini on the Rim." Right. And I kind of give you props. I said, Mike, you you were on trend. You tapped into the zeitgeist. You really gave it up. I, I yeah. <laughs> I gave it up for my boy. <laughs> but when after that episode was over, I wanted a break from it. I was like, that's enough, uh, Hanford. And then. <laughs> I'm listening to the Spotify top 50 tracks in the America. <gasps> oh, and the song, what's that? Billboard? No, it's just uh, Spotify. Spotify. Ah. And uh, there's, a, there's an artist named Bryson Tiller. And I think, hmm, I can listen to this song and it won't remind me of Hanford's uh, cocktail predictions. Wrong. Hit the track. Don't know. Grimace piss. This is the Grimace piss shuffle. Hold it to the lens. Put the ice up on and show it to your friends. Shop it till we lean. Huh? Bet let's make it even. She don't hold it down. Think she spicy like tahini. Huh? Yeah, spicy like tahini. They look bad. Don't make no sense. I'm finna take a bougie ass to Odell. When they let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci Hippo take up whatever she want. She pissed me off somehow. She still get whatever she want. She don't hold a damn thing. She's spicy like tahini. Hot, 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 hot. Ha, yeah. Mm. She's spicy like Tahine, A look bay, don't make no sense. I'm finna take her bougie ass to Rodeo. Oh, Rodeo Drive. Hey, get some Von Dutch stuff for me. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, Tim, that's that's exciting. I don't think, I think I learned about Tahine though from you guys. I, I never used it and you would, because you like the fruit cup with the Tahine on yes. And then Tim, you just Tahined out all the time. <laughs> but maybe that's what, so maybe you're the common man. Maybe me and Jeff were early adopters. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just... And then by the time... It, if, if we're like a microcosm of America. Mm -hmm. And if it makes it from <laughs> Jeff and Tim to Mike, it means it's also going mainstream. <laughs> That's exciting. Uh, Tahin. Tahin's out there. Well, also, but he's saying hot like Tahin, and 
I'm hot. So yeah, I'm fucking toasted. No, I'm fucking a beautiful man. Oh no, <laughs> and yes, 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 and hunky not, to boot. Teen's not that spicy. Nah, mm. no, it's salt. Yeah, it's more yeah. salt than spice. It's funny of, of all the references for him to say spicy like Teen saying a girl's yeah, hot. Oh, right. He should have said that bomb hot sauce. From yeah, uh, he could have. She should have said <laughs> she's bomb. hot as the second to last wing on hot ones. <laughs> Because the last one's the last dab, which is a D height. Oh, right, 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 right. Where does Apollo fit in there? Yeah, that's the Apollo, one I'm, I'm Apollo. into that one. That's the last dab. That's the last dab. Uh, 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 I've been putting Apollo in everything. Now, Tim, I thought you were going to point out the new song uh, Von Dutch by Charlie XCX. What? Talking about us being right. ahead of the curve. Right. Mm. I didn't know about this. What's it's it? the new single, baby. The, tra- the uh, album isn't out yet. Shit. I can't listen to the radio anymore without being reminded of my podcast. <laughs> is essentially what's going on. <laughs> Which is, uh, so the audience knows, we do not want ever to be remind, reminded about this. So no, no, I'm trying to get it off my mind. Please. I'm here one hour a week and the rest of the time, I'm, <laughs> please, <laughs> unwind. Well, that was just a quick bip just to say, pff, Tahin, it's all over the place. Tahin's out there. I, I, uh, folks, let us know if you're doing anything fun with Tahin. Also, didn't we send a, uh, a little assignment out to order this drink or something at the bar and see and record it? No one did that. Which one? Any of them that we did. Like the <laughs> Tahine one or... That reminds me of a different call to action that somebody came through on, which was a dude named Josh Howd from uh, Instagram messaged me and said he went to the new Don the Beachcomber uh, restaurant in Florida. You know, we said Tampa. Tampa? Yeah. Right. Or um, it's Madeira Beach. Madeira Beach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and we were saying, hey, it looks kind of uh, cheaply decorated. It looks like Party City. Mm-hmm. He said, no. He said it, he, he went there. It's good. They mm. did a good job. They did a good job. But that website, like the pictures we're looking at were taken during the day and the door was open. Oh, but he's know, like, yeah. It's got to be a dank, dark Ugh. thing. So apologies to that restaurant for thinking that they had poor decor. Do you remember we we uh, we shot something? It was the Jose Cuervo thing, which I think we talked about. We shot that at Roxy, Rainbow? the Rock, yeah, Roxy, a uh, 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 rock club on the Sunset Strip. And during the day, when you go in those places, it is like. Ooh. The lights are on. You see how Ooh. the the when vinyl it, furniture is like rubbed down, yeah, and, and it's you know, like, like black stuff, black spray paint fixing spots on mm-hmm. the bar. When that when that door opens and that bl- <laughs> hot blue sunlight cuts in all that black <laughs> spray paint, yeah. nasty. It only looks good at night with the laser lights flying. Yeah, I saw <laughs> I saw a drawing room during the daytime. And it was, ooh, ooh, nasty. And I do a, like the drawing room though. I I've turned. I love it. Yeah, drawing room's fun. I feel like cash only though, right? Uh, cash only, mm-hmm. but they got an ATM. We got to give them a square. Maybe oh, for, for Christmas. Zip, zip, yep. zip. <laughs> the smallest thing that you could wrap up and give them. <laughs> like the Here. size of a stamp. They're like, what's this? Well, you got to put it on your phone, I think. <laughs> I don't um, know, Jeff. It's your phone. <laughs> um, uh, is that it for booze news? Just a quick bit. Wrap it up. <laughs> That's it for booze news. That's a classic. I'd love to hear about the drink of the day. Mm. Well, <laughs> it's been a long ride. Yeah. On the IBA, and we have finally made it to the final drink, and it's entitled The Daiquiri You've Had. Oh, I've yes. Had. Of course. Now, what do you think when, you, when, you, when someone says daiquiri? What comes to mind? What do you picture? What, I, what are your thoughts? I always think, I mean, it's a pretty simple recipe. I always think of it as like a daiquiri. I always look in my mind i'm picturing like something in a uh like a f- pineapple with frosted like, guy yeah frosted guy, the stuff coming out, like uh umbrellas and straws coming out the top mm-hmm. but i don't think it's that complicated but the classic mm-hmm. dac is right. stripped down stripped down in fact when i make them it's because i got not much else you know right i'm down to the dregs i'm like oh i got a lime and some bacardi mm-hmm. and well, we'll find out and we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. So remember we talked to, when we went on Doughboys, we drank the Grog, mm-hmm. which was also a rum lime sugar drink. And that's from like the 16 or the 1700s. So this stuff, it starts with like you got the British Navy trying to make their sailors not get scurvy. So they give them rum. Or I think you're just allowed to have rum if you're in the Navy. Like it, w- it was like rationed to you because yes. your life's shitty. And then because the rum was harsh, they gave you sugar. And then to make you not have uh, scurvy. scurvy, they gave you lime. So we talked about that in the Grog episode of the Doughboys Double. But then we also did uh, in our Whiskey Sour episode, Mikey talked about a similar thing where it's like 
um, sours came from punches, you know, so that was another thing where it was like, uh, spreading from the Caribbean up to America is like punches and those could be rum, lime, sugar, but all of those have no ice. So, mm. so the punches and grogs are just like in a cup on a boat. You're drinking it. Well, sad. Good luck having ice on a boat. Yeah, true. If exactly. you're a pirate, drink it on the deck. What if your you boat might have, is you, up in uh, the North Pole that's, area? That's true. If you're trying to cross the uh, strait there. Yeah. If you're on a fucking boat and you look over and your captain's up, Penguin, you may just be up in the Arctic, sir. <laughs> Are you doing a whole stand-up bit about like you must be up in the Arctic no, somewhere? It's gonna be. It's it's I'm gonna. It just got whittled down to a TikTok series, but yeah, it's it's a lot of that stuff. Um, so if th that stuff's floating around for hundreds of years, but then, you, then it eventually, like in America, we start making cocktails. We start to have ice exist. So then you get the whiskey <laughs> sour. You get all the the gin sour. You get all the sours happening. But then you have an American guy. Go back down to Cuba and he, his name's Jennings Cox. And in like 1898, he was like, I want to have a whiskey sour, a gin sour, but, uh, we don't have whiskey or gin here. So I'm going to use rum, which is what we have in Cuba. Mm. So he makes himself a sour and he shakes it with ice and he names it after the town he's in, which is Daiquiri. Ooh. So unbeknownst to him, he's basically making a thing that was already there, like a hundred years before him. Mm -hmm. But he went and he came back and he uh, shook it with ice. And then it he became... said, I created something. How the yeah. hell did anyone make ice to begin with? Get it real cold, like, man. In this old saloon days in the old West, they just did not have. Did they have I mean, ice? I feel like they originally they were like going up to a cold place and transporting it down like. Yeah, how, like, how, go, you go up to Canada and you chop a bunch of ice, you put it on a truck <laughs> yeah. and you bring it down to people's ice boxes. Oh, I guess the ice box yeah, insulated. But they didn't have Freon. No, they certainly oh. didn't have Freon. How are they keeping it cool? They call Freon just because it freezes stuff. <laughs> you can't call it Freezon. They should call it Freezon. <laughs> Freezon. Frozen. Um, anyway, I, I had the same thought as you about daiquiris where I grew up thinking like, strawberry daiquiri and stuff like that but then yeah 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 i finally had a, a daiquiri at a place in new orleans in like 2015 and i was like this is a little stiffy and this is good mm. and i like it and then we're gonna drink it today and here is the iba wait this is a little stiffy didn't isn't that what the prostitute said to you down there? stop <laughs> it stop it <laughs> you know what i'm talking about Jimmy. yeah man she's all confused wait this is <laughs> a little stiffy wait what's going on and then also folks i want to highlight this is the last time you're going to hear those words here is the IBA recipe. How about Thank that? God, yeah. good riddance. Ooh. Damn. Um, 60 milliliters, Damn. two ounces, white Cuban rum. Mm. Actually, they say white Cuban rum, R-O-N. Is that something I've never heard of or is that a typo? I think that is I, correct rum, because rum. Uh, remember rum chata said like horchata con ron. Oh. Oh. Okay. 20 milliliters fresh lime juice, joie stalim, two bar spoons of super fine sugar. In a cocktail shaker, add all ingredients, stir well to dissolve the sugar, add ice and shake. Hmm. Are you hmm. sure that wasn't stir well to dissolve the sugar? Stir, comma, well, well. comma. <laughs> this is interesting, right? Stirring Why and- Why stir and then shake? I guess well, to, to dissolve, dissolve the sugar. <laughs> but, oh, because it won't dissolve as well when it's cold with ice, maybe? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Stir, then add ice, then shake? In a cocktail shaker, add all ingredients. Stir well to dissolve sugar, add ice and shake. Yeah. Mm. So it's just the, the room temperature stuff dissolves better. Strain into a chilled cocktail glass. So that is the IBA method. But for a little more color commentary, uh, because this is such a special episode, here is a little surprise from a member Ugh. of the Sloppy Boys extended family. Hit the no. clip. Hey, Sloppy Boys. Celebrity bartender Jack Schramm here to congratulate you on finishing every cocktail on the IBA list. I'm thrilled that you can finally put this dubious organization behind you <laughs> and use real recipes from reputable sources. He hates the IBA. And I'm extra thrilled that you chose the absolute best cocktail of all time for last. Whoa! It's right up there. Martini and daiquiri are one and two for me. And depending on what day of the week it is, it'll be in a different order. So my personal daiquiri recipes use simple syrup instead of raw sugar or, you know, uh, granulated sugar, just because it's so much easier to, to measure accurately every time. So my best recommendation for you 
is to use two ounces of rum, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice, and three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup in your cocktail. And uh, what you should really be playing around with are the proportions of that lime juice and simple syrup. Now, If I'm making a daiquiri for myself, I like to go all the way up to a full ounce of lime juice and stick with uh, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup because I like it a little tart, a little juicy. Uh, But I know plenty of people who who drop it all the way down to half ounce lime juice, half ounce simple syrup because they want it more bracing and rum forward. So play around with those proportions and find one that you like. But the the real down the middle choice is three quarter, three quarter. Now, if you've got some fun rums on hand, uh, that's another place to play. Stick to that two ounce structure, but within those two ounces, you can go hog wild. You know, I personally like to do three quarters of an ounce of a Barbadian rum, white rum, like a real McCoy three year, three quarters of an ounce of a white rum agricole from Martinique, one like uh, maybe a Nissan Blanc, if you've got that on hand. Who has that on hand? I'm the only one in the world who has that on hand. (laughs) Uh, And then a half ounce of a really funky Jamaican rum, like a Smith & Cross. Uh, So, you know, you still got that two ounce structure, but there's so much interesting interplay between those three styles of rum. Go nuts. Have fun. I'm proud of you. Enjoy your daiquiris. Jack's actually got a new column on vinepair.com and it's called Techniques. So check that out. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. That's great. I didn't know that was his favorite drink. Yep, he loves it. Um, but he he made one mistake when he said that when uh, you're if you're mixing two rums, he mentioned two fancy rums. But we have learned what he doesn't know is that mix any two rums on earth, the two cheapest rums in the world. Even Jack doesn't know this, folks. <laughs> and this guy is our like go to guy. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> but it's it's crazy. Mix two rums together, two different rums, mm-hmm. and suddenly it's like, oh my. God, this is amazing. <laughs> but I do think um, when he's talking about the ratios, that's the thing we've learned with like sours in general. It's mm-hmm. like you kind of start with like if you're using simple syrup, it's like two ounces liquor, one ounce, one ounce. But then everybody has their own mm-hmm. little things that they like to. It's customizable. Well, yes, because you like lime. Mike likes sweet. Yes, this is true. I, I do have a bit of sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> We're here now. But what about this? So that's a great. I'm so glad Jack. Uh, Phoned in. He called in. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, are we going to do his recipe, though, or stick with the IBA just because we're doing the IBA? Ah, it's I would, tough. I would honor the IBA this one last time. I think, I think then, so. And then, but then go tweaks crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And then, and just, I, I, it, it helps to know that's in our mind as we taste the IBA recipe and say, I rolled back the citrus a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually roll back. Yeah. And that's good because I do have white rum and I have a couple weirdies hanging out. I you got do. some Appleton hanging out, maybe some Agricole. That's good. I love that. Well, do you want to get into it? Yeah. Let's get into it. Folks, open up your ears, open up your wallets. Here come the ads. We'll be right back after this. We're back with a daiquiri in hand. Wait, I didn't have it. Looking good. Looking very Ooh, good. Shaken so, up by Jefferson Dutton. So simple. So simple. Simple syrup. Folks, you got the stuff. Mm. Let's do sips, huh? Sips. <sighs> oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Salud. That's right. Salud. Salud mm. to a good... Uh, I'm finishing up a, of list, a bad time. A list well done. <laughs> yeah, a, list, a bad list done well. Mm. No, it's not a bad list. It's so funny to hear uh, Shram too on there be like, that wretched idea. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it more than anyone. Um, <laughs> he was the first guy we asked. We were like, yeah, well, we're doing it for the uh, International Bartenders Association. Mm. And he just returned a blank stare. When we did a, we did a, a fancy bar crawl in New York with him, and we were talking to a bartender at... Um, is it PDT, the downstairs place yeah, by the yeah. by the hot dog place? Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> Jack was like, these are my friends. And, and hey, uh, meet this bartender. And Mike was like, we're try- we're doing the IBA cocktail <laughs> list. <Yeah. laughs> and the guy just stared at us blankly. And Jack was like. <laughs> 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 um, but we chose it because it's just, it's what's on Wikipedia for every drink. Yeah. It's like. Uh, so, it sounds official, doesn't it? But yeah, I think that. It is. Like, even if bartenders don't like it, it's like Wikipedia supersedes grumpy bartenders to me. 
You yeah. know, like if, if Wikipedia says what a drink is, then like more people are probably right, right. That's making more that than anything else. Standard. We've heard it's barely recognized in California. It's more of an international thing. If it sees any recognition, it's in California. It's a it's a British based thing. I think that's where they meet up. Hmm. I think it's because one podcast kind of made it their whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. You know, I don't know if we're on round two ideas yet. No. But I have one. <laughs> okay, what is it? A pineapple juice. Oh my we'll god! Splash of pineapple juice in there. <laughs> whole new drink. A whole new drink. I'm just saying, if you want to spice it up, splash it up. Sure. You could, but I do think the fun of this one, well, we'll do that. But the fun of this <laughs> one is like dialing back and forth. How much sugar do I like? Mm, how much mm, How mm. much lime do I like? Up and down on those. But no, Mike's thinking, bringing bring a different fruit. I will say this, though. <laughs> no, I would keep the lime. But I would also say this. I wouldn't, I like this uh, ratio you did, Jeff. That's IBA, baby. God bless the IBA. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's, it's. Strong, and I can't tell whether that's a lot of lime or a lot of rum. Yeah, but it's it's like it's just like uh, Tim. It's perfect, perfectly balanced. It is making me do this a lot. It's funny because you normally don't do that at all. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> kind of known for not doing that. <laughs> I was hanging with a whole bunch of friends doing that one time, and I was like, "Can I invite Mike?" And they're like, "Nah, nah, he's always not doing that. He's not going to do that thing. <laughs> he doesn't baby. do this." <laughs> I was hanging with a bunch of lizards on a rock. <laughs> We should check in with Lazy Guy from Neil's backyard. Well, I was, so I'm in LA and I was just staying at Neil and Fran's house and uh, they said Lazy Guy's probably been dead for about two years. <laughs> Based <laughs> on what? I asked. Did well, they, they seen him in two years. Hmm? It's like a, it's like a, a, a Jimmy Hoffa situation. Yeah. Where he's, yeah. 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 he's buried somewhere under he's, some building. He's around. just missing. Yeah. But, but uh, yeah, he maybe he just he might, got not lazy. Maybe he... It was his New Year's resolution to get he got motivated. <laughs> motivated. He might have migrated. That's true. Maybe well, either moved, way, he's just not around. He maybe even moved to Highland Park. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are doing that. Or South Pasadena. <laughs> he's a gentrifier. He's gentrified. Ooh. Let's say you have a lime. One lime. To your name. What'd what you do with it? Hmm. <laughs> It's got to be a drink. It's got to be a drink. Okay, this one then, man. <laughs> it's the only one I can think of. Um, You're probably saying mule, mule. Mule, mule. Um, <laughs> in, I don't know. In Little Women, one Maybe. of the Victorian girls like, gets a lime. And it's like a prized it's thing. It's just a thing. And she doesn't eat it or squeeze it or anything. She's just like, I got a lime from school. <laughs> and I think she, she gets sick because she's like, no, that's Zuzu. <laughs> she didn't eat it. She didn't squeeze it. <laughs> she, didn't, she just has a lime. It's just an exotic item to have. She's not Where even you? rolling it around. I have to say, the best use of lime to me, is squeezing it onto salty carne asada. Mm, it's not a cocktail. It's a drink, but yeah, that's good. I know, but a taco, that with a kind of, an asada taco with cilantro and diced onion, and then I take one of those really little limes. I go, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing it at home. I bought some of those little tiny, like, hot, uh, hot dog, um, taco tortillas. Me too. I've been, been, I like a little taco truck it's over nice. at my place. It's a nice Corn? Uh, I think so. Huh. Are they yellow? Yeah, yes. Corn. Corn. Corn's yellow. <laughs> or flour with yellow food color. <laughs> <laughs> or white corn. Um, I've been doing um, breakfast tacos. That's and good. the other day I was like, what if I like scrambled up eggs for the week so that they're like in the morning, I'm just like kind of scooping a little taco and nuking it. Tim, you got to start your own home state. That's basically what I did. And then, but I was like, hey, I want to add some meat to this egg. And then the only meat I had was like a bunch of meat sticks, like Slim Jim, not Slim Jims, but like off brand Slim yeah, Jims. Yeah. So I diced them up and I, and I, but they wouldn't really dice up. So now there's just like, you'll be eating these eggs and then you like bite into a Slim Jim every once in a while. That's not bad. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's kind of, I do so like that Slim Jim so taste. Cured, smoked, hard. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> cured, smoked, hard. Egg. Cured, mm. smoked, hard. That's the Tim Taco way. <laughs> um, I'll do a little lime spritz on a fruit cup. You know, you get yeah, you get yeah, the fruit smart. cup from the guy. Oh, well, you yeah, yeah, the he one puts where you the put tahini, the but, yeah. but either they always take that lime and. <laughs> that's a good use of lime. I put lemon on a lot of stuff. Yeah, my chickens, my rices, my chicken needs lemon. Everything nice. Um, here's a good use of lime that might blow your hair back. 
you know you got a big bowl of guac and you 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 mashed it up fresh and you're proud of it. Mm-hmm. You know how fast the top goes brown? You know, yeah. you're at like a picnic? Yeah. If you squeeze lime over the top of that, it won't turn brown. Oh, really? Yep. Same thing if you leave the pit in there too, isn't that? I've heard something? that. Yeah, yeah. I think if you cut, I've done this before where you cut a, uh, I did this recently, cut a guacamole, uh, avocado in half, eat one we, half and leave then the keep pit the pit in the other half. But it's still got a little, after like two days was still, sure. you probably got to eat it quicker than that. All the avocado, I don't eat avocado out of season. Every avocado I've eaten this winter When's has the season? been turned, summer, hmm. Hmm. June to September. But uh, I feel like anytime I, I'm like, sure, I'll have a BLT with an avocado. <laughs> then it's that when avocado is like one minute past ripe, it's fucking nasty. Sure. Uh, the, the BLT, have you been eating BLTs lately? No, but Jocelyn ate one at uh, You Rustic and got food poisoning. Ooh. From a BLT? Mm-hmm. But I had avocado. Ye Rustic is yeah. <laughs> up Well, that down. was funny because we went there and, and I only ever order wings or chicken yeah. strips. Yeah. Maybe mozzarella sticks. She got a BLT and I was going to make fun of her. And I was like, I guess a BLT is safe. And then the next day she's like, I was barfing all night. Oh, wait, from avocado? <laughs> or avocado. bacon or... Could be any of it, but I guess, because when she took it, I said this thing I'm complaining about. I was like, is that avocado fresh? And she was like, no. (laughs) Hmm. That's nasty. I think uh, this might be my first trip out here in a while, but I don't go to you, Rustic. You got it. I was was taking a jog pass the other day, and I was like, oh. Really? Because I always get fucking sick after I eat it. It's so good. I eat too much. It's so good. But I eat too much of it. Have a little Pepto. Here's what we do. We go there. We eat the wings. And you like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just don't have to be inside. I don't know. There's something that's grunge about No, no, let's it. go. Let's eat a lot. And then they, we, we don't go next time. I like being inside. I I'm hate. I'm going next time. Um, you know what's funny? I hate the front area because a lot of restaurants did this thing where they the outdoor added. Di- the outdoor yeah, dining front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They added COVID seating that should be long gone by now. But you ever go to a place that you've been to 10,000 times and sitting in a new seat? And it's like a whole new place. I went to Ye Rustic for the 10,000th time and I sat at the bar, but all the way at the far, far end of the bar into that corner with yeah, really yeah, stuff yeah. in the corner, but on a stool at the bar. Mm. I was like, I'm seeing this room from a new angle. That's I like that weird. cozy and cavey over Yeah, there. and I ate at the bar. Uh, this, uh, I was with Jocelyn this time, too. And we, we ate, but we were inside and, getting a table And nobody bumps you. Nobody bothers you because no. you're way over there. You're in that they weird little find angle. They me if they tried. I was there once in that spot for some big game of some sort. I, I, the Super Bowl? Mm, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I posted up there, and I, it did me right. Uh, the, but going back to the BLT, I had one recently at a diner. I got one to go. Oh yeah. And I said to myself, why am I doing this more? It's fresh, isn't it? It's good. That's the same it's not a fucking heavy thing. That, it takes me two seconds. Uh, you finish a BLT and you're like, oh, you're rearing to go. Yeah. I yeah. finish I have the stuff I eat, like a big old, I'll get a burger and it'll be like a big old savory smoky burger with like blue cheese and bacon and crap yeah, on it. Right. And I just want to go to bed after. Yeah. yeah. Or fucking die. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I, I'll like get a pack of chicken or something, make it for dinner and kind of eat the whole pack of chicken. Because <laughs> I make it so good, you know, in the air fryer. Yeah, yeah. But these days I've been saying, don't eat all of it. Put one piece of chicken on your plate and then see where we're at. Mm-hmm. Portion control. Portion control. Portion control. I, <laughs> I don't like that. What? I don't like, you I don't, don't like Porsches? I don't Come like on, the portion control. 9-11. Porsche, 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 Porsche. Oh, that's a model of Porsche. That's they probably. Oh, yeah. Wing, wing. Um, oh, that's I, a model. I'm, of I'm sure they were not too thrilled with Osama. I don't think a lot of people were <laughs> when they had thrilled with it all went down. <laughs> yeah, no, it was bad. Thrilled. This is um, what I'm thrilled about is this drink, though. I feel like I saw something recently online where a guy was eating raw chicken. Like doing all those things like I'm going to eat raw chicken for 30 days. Like, was that handman.69 oh. yeah. on TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't put it together. It was no, uh, because, you know, we're all like, oh, I eat my beef rare. I eat my, well, I guess that's all that we eat rare. But, but we were like, oh, cook your chicken. Sushi, sure. Sure. Uh, uh, cook your chicken all the way or otherwise you get salmonella. Well, is, isn't that like a, what is it, like the caveman diet or whatever? Like they're paleo? Paleo, paleo. Yeah. Don't paleo people want to eat like raw steaks and shit they want to but i think you just don't want to eat processed foods i didn't know that you have to eat there's raw raw diet maybe, but i don't maybe, think they eat chicken it. i think they eat like whole foods hmm. they eat at whole foods anyway this dude on instagram was eating a bunch of raw chicken and he seemed fine it tastes bad but he didn't die mm. okay that's was it fresh 
I don't want to start eating chicken. It was fresh. It. Also, wasn't there a guy like a year ago that was like, I'm going to eat a whole rotisserie chicken every day for 30 days? Like one of those grocery store ones. Ooh. What a flex. Yeah. That's a great life. That's not like an, ex- that's not a social experiment. A whole one no. of those things? He was doing more of a community build- building a thing. Like he went out and sat in public at a table and he would eat a whole chicken every day and people started to gather to watch. I don't think he was making any point other than like, can I do it? I'm doing this. <laughs> But every time I get one, I eat half, and then I'm like, I got to stop myself from keeping going. Those things make me shit. <laughs> Those rotisserie chickens, man. All food does, really, well, in the end. Not, that, not at this rapidity. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you guys are eating chicken, you, you go to the grocery store, you go to the hot table, you get one of those, what is it, eight ninety nine for a whole rotisserie chicken, you bring it home. Hmm. Are you eating the skin? Yes, me too. Problem, yes, I I'm, I'm, I eat the skin. I love the skin, and in fact, I eat all the skin. Right, like that chicken might sit in my fridge for days, but I try to get all the skin off it and eat it right right away when it's still hot because it's not going to be as good Ooh. after it goes in the fridge and gets nuked again. So I'm just skin to the dome. But then when I eat with like normal people, yeah. Uh, I see people like pull the skin off yeah, their chicken yeah, and put it to the side of the plate. And I'm like, oh, I know you're supposed oh. to do that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't. when I eat wings, that bone is dry. I eat all the carbs. Yeah, of course. When I eat a steak, I eat the fat a lot of the time. It's tough. I, I put the right fat there. to the side. I don't really do the fat on the steak. to eat that stuff. I, I'm, 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 ooh, did I happen to graze up against it and carve a little bit of it? Oh, ooh. graze is fine. <laughs> I'm not taking a big mouthful no, of gummy maybe, weird maybe steak. Maybe that graze was good. Now maybe the knife is grazing just straight into the fat. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe he's grazing right through there. Hey, oh. my, my fork's kind of jumping onto some other plates. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to say something that's going to make your wigs flip. I'm going to, I'm going to. Put a little dash of fireball in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got the fireball. If, if it's an imperceptible dash, I could imagine it complexifying. Dude, it's going to be perceptible. No, but you know how Don the Beachcomber would put like a little clove in a fruity drink? Okay. Oh, that was perfect. That's a nice little dab. Now, do you ever see cinnamon and lime in nature commingling? I was in Griffith Park and I saw a cinnamon stick and a lime hmm. <laughs> kind of on, on top of each other. I was, I was, when I first moved into my new apartment, I, uh, went up to I was a floor below I forgot I just was a little lost I opened the door I saw a lime and a cinnamon 69 <laughs> oh my god that's not stuff. what is cinnamon is it a stick it's a yeah. stick it comes in a mat that they roll up a small mat you that know um a, ooh, ooh. not bad it just gives a little um that cinnamon taste you know it probably reminds you of the yule meal that had some lime and some cinnamon in yeah. it yeah mm-hmm. that's not bad I had goldschlager the other day at uh Red Lion, the German restaurant. Yeah. And uh, I was like, this is the original Red uh, Fireball. I mean. Oh, yeah. Because I drank, drank that in high school. And we were like, we thought it was fancy because it had real gold in it. You drink it now, it's just Fireball. You had a flight of some fun liqueurs there. Yep. Walnut. Care to name them? They Schnapps. Do. Schnapps. Schnapps. Fucking fig, fucking plum, fucking. I don't even give a the fuck. The plum one was kind of uh, bubble gummy or something, right? Yeah, they were. They were all. I think I had that one. This was fun. Who was I sitting with? I, like whoever I was sitting with encouraged me. Where the two other guys were getting like they're like all of a bit burger and a schnapps, you know. So it was like okay, we're um, drinking. So then you know me. Then I got a whole ski <laughs> of schnapps. Oh, drinking. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> And then Stop shooting. <laughs> it is fun when that like, oh, we're just kind of hanging turns and like, oh, shit. Oh, no, yeah. turning I love that. And especially like, hey. this, this was the weekend, but I love it if it's like Tuesday night and you're just having dinner with a friend yeah. and then you're like, I might get a fourth drink. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then, and then, but I feel like once once I've decided to get drunk, I'm going all the way. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, one time very recently, Tim, after the pod, which is already a red flag, we're like, let's go to Chai Dynasty just to meet up with Mookie for one Mai yeah, Tai. Yeah, yeah. And one Mai Tai turns into two. And yeah, then we're like, yeah. let's just walk over to Rustic and see what's yep. going and that's, on. Those are strong drinks over there. And then when I we finished to... Rustic, we're like, well, let's go to drawing room. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't close it up. It was also, close it down. also food is food as well, where it's like Monday I'm night. Like, <laughs> at, yeah, the, Monday. at the bar at Chi Dynasty, I'm uh, like, oh well, I ate a poo poo bladder, like a whole flaming poo poo bladder. Uh, so we're going to resting. I'm not going to get the wings, but then after a couple of drinks, I'm like, ah, I think I'll have oh, wing. the wings. It is very funny as you drink more. You're like, your brain is just like, yeah, you can handle one more, and then you, it's the drunkenness is getting you. 
It's mm. working Man. on itself. <laughs> I, <laughs> itself. I did a number on myself. Uh, last Saturday night, we did a little bar crawl in Echo Park. And we started at, uh, me and Jeff were at Low Boy. <sighs> yes. And we had Smash Burgers. Mm. And yes. So I like started the night with some wings and Smash Burgers. So that was my dinner. And it wasn't even early. It was like nine by the time I'm eating that. Mm -hmm. But then we were out until like bars were closing. And then I went to a taco stand and I got... <laughs> A, you got kind of a funny thing. I, I got like the hot dog, like the Mexican hot dog yeah, with all yeah, the yeah, stuff. Yeah, good. And then I inhaled that, and then I went back, and I got a pork <laughs> papoose. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was there was Mitch and I were standing there, and all of a sudden Tim was like, "All right, I'll be right back." This was <laughs> when my like three a.m. Uber yeah. showed up. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you well, were like, stranded there for a while. No, no, no. Uh, oh, because the bar closed, and we man, I haven't like closed the bar the, down. The bar in a while. closed, and then also I want to say it like closed, closed early. I think it was like one. Really. I don't think it was. Like, I went to bed at like three thirty four in the morning, so I thought we were like kind of walking around out front for well, a bit. Maybe. Huh. Okay. Remember. Anyway. Hey. Well, what about back at going back to uh, Red Lion? That shot Mitch got us. Did you guys have that? It was uh, called Stole or Skull. That was or Beck Bennett got those. For <gasps> oh, okay. Us. Yeah. Uh, Skull Stro. He was called Stro. Stro. S T R O H. Right. Well, there's a beer from the Midwest called Stro. Let's see what it what, was. The, it was, I think it was 160 proof. And I had like half of the shot. It smelled kind of good. And then you take a taste and it was a, a second of a good taste, kind of like a fruity taste. Mm. And then the worst, like, it, it was like no alcohol I've ever tasted before. It wasn't like that. That It wasn't that Sharpie type smell that a I thought Scotch it was. Does. Um, you, we were taking the Beck was like, oh, this is like, this is disgusting, but we should do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And so we're just kind of in the spirit of uh, like a Malort shot or something yeah. where we knew it was going to be gross. I felt like it burned my throat. And, you know, I've had 160 proof rum is probably the harshest thing I've had. It's burned my throat worse than that. And then when the pain subsides, the 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 most inoffensive flavor in the world which was uh, like Werther's Originals like butterscotch oh, I was getting yeah, that yeah, yeah. which is so weird after being like whoa we're doing shots oh it burns oh it tastes like, tastes like my grandfather's like house it, for me it like did that thing where you'd feel it go down your throat and like kind of boom in your Bounce. stomach yeah yeah. now I've seen an Austrian spirit but it, say, it says it's a spiced rum but Austria would make sense for that place mm -hmm. but do you think that could have been spiced rum who knows I have no idea huh. It was called what? Strom? Strom. Strom. S T R O H. But Strom, Strom was the name of the spa that I went to in Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> I am always flipping, flip flopping those two. Yeah, they're, they're very easy to uh, confuse. All right, round two. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm still working on my first. I would say this. I'm gonna have another. I think it was. I think it was perfectly balanced for me. It was nice and dry. Mm -hmm. I would say we do a split base of rums. Yes. Agricole and Appleton or something. Great. Oh, both amber. Oh, no. Maybe we cut it with a... I would say a little bit of Bacardi and then... Some well, but don't you have like Ray and Cousins or Ray and Nephews oh. or whatever? Speaking of overproof drinks. Ray and Nephew. That, that's like the really... The LMFAO of, uh, <laughs> of rums. The junior, junior. Um, junior, senior. Are they... Uncle I, think nephew? Junior, I think they were, hmm. but um, then I think we, I think that what it could use, it was like, it could use a little more water. So let's really shake the shit out of it for a long time. If we use these fancy rums, I think that will be the trick for us. Okay. Folks, we're going to make round two. See you in a bit. See you soon. Two of the daiquiri. And now what did we do rum wise, Jefferson? We did a three way split, Timmy. We did Bacardi White, mm -hmm. Ray and Nephew, Overproof Rum, mm -hmm. and some Ooh. Rum Abricole. Yeah, baby. Abr Abricole? Agricole. Agricole. Rum, and it's the R R H U M. So you have to say rum. Rum? Really? Agricole. No. <laughs> this is from a French colony instead of a Spanish colony. Ah. Mm -hmm. Rum, Raham, and Ram. We've seen Ron, 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 Ronnie, Ron, 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 Rummy, Ram. Sips. Zing! Wow! Pa! Wait, I'm realizing that 
Mike's not having a round you know, two. Can so, I just take a but sip? But we here? didn't cut these in. So these are just these are drink and a halves. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I guess it's like a frisbee. It's really deceptive how wide the top of a daiquiri or a, of, of a like, coupe oh, That's the reference point. Yeah. You know, you can fit six beers in a disc. <laughs> wow, that's a really different taste than this. Yeah. Interesting. Three rums, man. Mm hmm. Ooh, so earthy. Good. So huh? fancy. It's got a bit of an earthy thing. Earth a kit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm earthy scared kit. to finish it. Yeah, I can't be too tanked up. I know. Tim and I are we're doing a show later. Oh, and right. we have to wow the public. Comedy show. We I just have, have to go laugh. laugh. Yeah. Laugh too hard on that stuff. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Jeff, uh, that's just the announcement to take your mm. seat. Um, I had a little idea. Oh, God. If you just want to wake up. If you just want to like, wake up. In the morning? Yeah. Or now? You might remember the martini episode. Mm -hmm. I remember it. Remember it got a little zappy. Got a little zappy that episode. Like drunk? No. Electric zaps like electric like electric zaps. Like oh your your collar. The collar. Shock collar. Oh, oh, no, no. I call her like I'm some kind of freak. <laughs> um one of you mentioned at one point in the episode those tennis rackets that zap. Mm. Mm -hmm. I got one of those. Mm. You do? Yeah, you want to try it out? Mm-hmm. Put it on your tongue. No, not me. <laughs> yes, you. The, folk, the people don't want to see Dutz get zapped. That's like the last guy they want to see I get zapped. I think they do, and I think they want to quit because this episode is almost over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mike, we have all of our final thoughts to parse through painstakingly. <laughs> I love it. It's an order again. <laughs> yeah, it's a Stone Cold too. classic. Too. This is a Stone Cold classic. I wonder, how, what have we done Stone Cold classes on? Martini, this... Maybe old fashioned Mai Tai, so cold Mai Tai. Wasn't there one? There was one that you were like, I don't like it. It's not an order yeah, again, yeah. but it's a stone cold. It's a stone class. cold. I just don't get it. Uh, I'm gonna grab the zapper, but I'm only doing it if one of you also does. Do it. my toe. Your toe. My big toe. <laughs> what do we all do it? Yeah, all right. I'll do it. But will it? Would it just? I mean, can I just touch it with my finger? Does it need to be like? Um, it doesn't have to be like on your. But don't face. you need to be like not grounded? Like bugs are floating in the air. This will be a good experiment. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Mike? I have. I think I'm going to put on your balls. That could be good. Boy, did that. Yeah. You think that could be good? I'm my ball. You want to put it on my bulge? Fry <laughs> off those pubes you love so much. I, I, I do not love those. <laughs> You're always uh, talking to your barber Silvio about how he needs to style them differently. The wax, the amount I spent on waxing for <laughs> year, my my accountant is going to lose it. Oh, we got to do some taxes soon. I did mine. Oh, you lucky guy. Yeah. It's a mess now with Sloppy Boys LLC. Tim Kelpak is Inc. I don't know what the Oh, what? You're, you've, you've mm -hmm. corporatized? What's it called? Incorporated. Incorporated. You didn't corporatize. It's out of batteries, folks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we'll, we'll do, do it to next do, week. We'll do it next episode. We're getting zapped. That's wild. Great episode, dudes. You too. Hey, and great finishing this uh, IBA list. I couldn't be happier. This is fun. We got a new... What's going to be our drink next week? That's going to be can exciting. I, I don't know about next week, but can I say a drink that I've been itching to do? Sure. Yes. Mudslide. Yeah, you mentioned, that. A mudslide. you mentioned that. It's a classic at like TGI Fridays, Fern Bar. We should go drink. to TGI Fridays. We should <gasps> top load... All those fun drinks right up front. Let's not save anything. Well, yeah, and also, it. we're talking about we're going to go to the Venice Room yes. in, in Monterey Park, which will open us up to the the IBA sort of ignores the dark ages of cocktails. Yeah. But we we are stupid and we like sure. the drinks. So mm -hmm. give us the the fruity drinks. Give us the the drinks that aren't named very appropriately. Give mm -hmm. us the the, give blow, us the shots. Blow give job us the, shot. The red the headed slut. The weird ones. The dirty alligator, the the yeah, the the redhead, the, all there's a lot of them. They're, they keep going and going. Tim, you sent me a, uh, a clip from Blues Brothers recently, where they're like Orange Whip, Orange Whip. Yeah, we should oh. do Orange Whip. Now I thought I was like, oh, we've done Orange Whip. No, we've done the Golden Dream, but we haven't mm. done the Orange Whip. Yeah. Mm. I didn't know if you saw that. You didn't text me back. Well, I saw it and I was <laughs> like, I was like, what's this referring to? And then I kind of forgot. <laughs> Oh, no, it was, it was because, hold on, let me look it up in our text chain. There was something Hanford related. But I feel like an oh. orange whip, I don't know what it is, but it, I'm thinking it's going to be like a, a orange Julius. Julius. Mike, Mike, that Emily. was the video, but you didn't read the tweet. No. 
Fishman hit the John Candy three orange whips sample from Blues Brothers in the middle of a jam. If you're wondering why I love this stupid band so much. Oh, a fish, that's cool. a fish concert. They played that sample. Oh, damn. Yeah, I didn't read it. Let's all make a pact. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, We're done yeah. with the IBA list. We're sort of graduating. We're going to be oh. mature adults. Yeah. When someone texts you a tweet, don't just watch the video of the tweet. Read, read it. it. Read the open, actually, open it up. Look at it. Respond appropriately. I like this. I didn't like this. <laughs> Damn. Uh, folks, we did basically did the sign off. You know, it's patreon.com slash sloppy boys. Mm-hmm. And you know, we got a bunch of shows coming up. You want to come to the, you want to come to the shows more than anything. We got the shows are the real sloppy boys. This is a sham. Mm-hmm. This is a uh, sort of a, 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 loop, of a tax loophole. Yeah. This is uh, a, uh, <laughs> this is basically an advertising platform platform for the Patreon blowout. And the shows. I think what's cool. The live shows. I envy the slop heads right now mm. to be fans of us because. What a time. But what a time. To be a slop head. And the momentum mm. to know, oh my God, you, these guys are, they're playing a, a bunch of shows live. Plus Hanford's doing a, a stand-up show in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh the 13th and 14th at Lincoln Lodge. We've got a documentary that everyone has been begging us to watch. And we've been like, no, 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 not, not, not times yet. Right. Not yet. Um, and soon, soon though, soon. In general, we're just crackling with creativity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of awesome. And I would give anything to be a listener, but I don't listen. because I do feel crackling with. Yeah. Energy. As a creator, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Same. And we're, we're free from the clutches of the IBA. Yep. Finally. Yeah. Tim and I and maybe Jeff are going to the Sphere to see fish. No, yeah. me, me confirmed no. Uh, you we're going to order a couple <laughs> orange whips when we're in Vegas. We should, yeah, we should. We'll oh, gamble. We'll Vegas. Let's go to the Golden Tiki. You ever been there? No. Is it on the strip? Off the strip. Uh, amazing tiki bar in a strip mall. And then... Nice. Right next door, a really good Vietnamese sandwich shop. You get a little uh, banh mi in the middle of the Soak night. Up the suds. And Jeff, this is, maybe now you're coming out. Yeah, a little yeah, banh mi. And this is off the strip. No rules. That's true. Just come, Jeff. You don't have to go to the concert. I'm you're thinking th- about it. You come, should. Skip the concert. This concert's 200 bucks. Skip the concert and just hang around. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Folks, uh, we love you, and thanks for listening, and tell a friend next time. And wh- what I have to say yes. is that um, we are drinking and somebody mentioned the daiquiri. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's a sloppy boy song that says, uh, you know, we're like the wolf of wall street, but instead it's to wall street and rather than stocks, stocks, it's, it's daiquiri. Nice. Just like Jimmy buffet, but our songs never play and our credit cards always bounce back at me. <laughs> so we should have, we should end this show with that song. One last bender track one off Paradiso. Oh, that's a good one. There you go, folks. All right. Bye, folks. Bye. Peace. Love you. Thanks for sticking through the IBA.
just one time.